Believe it or not, there, there are fish in the tank that you see behind me here that I would recommend for a beginner. There are also some fish in the tank behind me that I would never recommend for a beginner. Just like there are some fish in this tank that uh, would be highly recommended for a person who's just starting a 60 gallon. But there are also some fish in this tank that could turn into a disaster for somebody who was just getting their first tank underway. Even in the 60 gallon grow out by uh, hashtag JuvieHapNation, there are some fish I would highly recommend for a first time uh, cichlid keeper. And there are some fish in here that I would tell a person just starting off to avoid at all costs because they will end up creating trouble for them. So what are the uh, top 10 cichlids that I would recommend for somebody who is a beginner or just, just starting up with a cichlid tank? So uh, here they are. Number 10. Number 10, I would say, is Z-Rock. The Z-Rock is a beautiful fish. Uh, it has a great temperament, and it doesn't put on a lot of size. So if your first tank is, let's say, a 60-gallon, you're going to be okay. Your Z-Rock can live for quite a while in a 60-gallon tank. So we have to take into account things like size and temperament and the Z-Rock definitely uh, definitely fits the bill for a good cichlid for a beginner. Number nine. Number nine would be a lemon jake. A lemon jake is a, um, is a fish that has a very good temperament. It's going to get about six or seven inches and it's going to um, be relatively peaceful and is stunning. It's a beautiful fish. The example that I have here is uh, one I picked up from, uh, from Trevor O'Shea over at the Wonder of Cichlids, and you can see it's a beautiful fish with a blue, lem uh, a blue and uh, yellow mix that is just very, very pretty. So number nine, a lemon jake. Number eight, number eight for the top 10 fish that I recommend for a beginner would be a blue neon. A blue neon is just a stunning fish. It, uh, usually they display a great example of egg spots. And uh, as you can see in this, uh, in this one that I have here, the egg spots are just, uh, they really pop. It's a beautiful fish. And again, the temperament is calm and uh, very, very peaceful. So I definitely would recommend a blue neon. And um, number seven, number seven in the top 10, I would recommend a um, ruby red. And I love seeing red in a tank. And one of the reasons I love the ruby red is because in the face, rather than getting the blue that you normally see in cichlid faces. Uh, you see that uh, beautiful blue, and this is not a knock on that blue, I think that the normal, the normal cichlid blue is gorgeous, but a ruby red gets a different kind, almost a purple, a purple as the name implies, um, a ruby purple, purplish color in the face that really sets them apart. So number seven is the, uh, the ruby red peacock cichlid. Number six, number six is a Plastodichromus John, Johnsoni, or sometimes called a John Stoning. Uh, as the name implies, Placid, Plastodichromus are a more peaceful fish. And as you can see from this example here, it is a beautiful fish, a stunning fish that will not put on a tremendous amount of size and will get along with other cichlids. And um, I really enjoy having this fish in my tank and I highly, highly recommend it for anyone who's starting a cichlid tank. Number five, number five has got to be something along the lines of another Plastodichromus, in this case, a deep water, a deep water hap. The deep water hap 
as you can see in this example here, uh, puts on just some beautiful colors, uh, puts on some good size, can hold his own, but doesn't get tremendously large. Unlike uh, the Maduka White Lips or the Star Sapphire, these fish can actually uh, put on a lot of size, get up over 10 inches. So if you're starting off with a 60 gallon tank, you're, um, you're gonna run into some problems because those fish really need to be in a much larger setup. So as a Placidochromus, apart from the uh, John, uh, Johnson Eye, I would highly recommend a deep water Electra. That is a, uh, a very, very good choice. Number four, I'm gonna stay in the Placidochromus family and I'm going to suggest a gazelle. A gazelle uh, takes on a, an electric blue, a beautiful electric blue color. And uh, like its cousins, the deep water, it is a very, very uh, peaceful fish, very placid. We'll get along with the other fish, with its tank mates. A gazelle, gazelle, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Placidochromus gazelle. And uh, the ones that I have in my tank are starting to get that uh, blue luminescent color, which is very, very pretty. I highly recommend a gazelle. Number three, I would uh, highly recommend a peacock flavescent. Peacock flavescent. This, uh, this fish, as you can see here, uh, just takes on a beautiful color the markings uh, in the face and on the tail and dorsal and the way the colors can change on this fish, depending on its mood, it can go from dark to very light. This is a very, very pretty fish, a flavescent. I highly, highly recommend the peacock, commonly called a flavescent. All right, so we're down to number two. The number two fish that I would recommend for a beginner is a Placidochromus and it's a Jalo Reef. A Jalo Reef. This is a beautiful fish that has that, uh, that combination that I find very, very uh, both uh, pretty and also um, it's just more of an unusual combination of blue and yellow. And you can see one that I have here that is starting to mature and put on color. And uh, a Jalo Reef, that is uh, one that I would recommend as number two. And the number one, the number one fish that I would recommend for a person starting off with cichlids. We're back to the Lethronops family and I'm talking about the red cap. The Lethronops red cap. And you can see mine here. It's just a stunning fish, and uh, both in the color throughout the body, the markings in the fins, and of course that beautiful, beautiful red cap that you see on the top of the head. Mine uh, colored up and uh, has remained colored up uh, for quite some time. I do have some females in the tank, and I'm hoping to get some fry that I can uh, perhaps offer out to some people in the area. So my number one choice for a person starting a tank, a cichlid tank, is a Lethronops red cap. So if you go with the fish that I've suggested, you'll be able to stay for quite some time in something like a 60 gallon, or you'll be able to um, you know, actually keep that group of fish together without worry that one of them is going to become uh, crazy and start to beat up the other fish. So those are my top 10. I hope I gave you 10. And uh, <laughs> sometimes some of you have pointed out that I've missed a number or two. <laughs> you know, this is impromptu. This is off the top of my head. I'm not rehearsing and reading off a list. So uh, cut me some slack. <laughs> All right. So those are my top 10 beginner cichlids. I hope this helps. And I hope it helps you to avoid making some of the mistakes I made, like running out and getting uh, una, uh, you know, an erratus or a bunch of uh, mabuna and, uh, and a venusis that I had to rehome almost immediately after getting them and uh, fish like this that uh, really were not right for a beginner. So uh, 
use my mistakes, use my uh, anxiety and stress that I went through to your advantage. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in.